Hello friends, it's Mallory with Made by Manny and Mal. Welcome back to my channel. Today is exciting. We hit 5,000 subscribers. I, I'm so excited. I'm so, so thankful for every single one of you. Thank you for watching my videos, liking them, commenting. This is really a dream come true and I'm so excited to be able to do this. So thank you to every single one of you. I want to do a giveaway because I'm so excited that we hit 5k. So I will have all the information in the description box below. It's going to be really easy. I'm just going to put together a little mystery box and I'm going to randomly select one winner on July 4th. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to our channel, follow us on Instagram at made by Manny and Mal and comment something on this video. It can be something good that happened to you a positive quote, anything that will make you smile or make somebody else who's reading the comments smile as well. I will randomly select the winner and I will announce the winner in my video on July 6th. So one week from today, I will announce the winner. In today's video, we are going with a summer theme. We're doing a alcohol ink swirl with glitter and some sea turtles. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are not already. That is also step one of three to enter the giveaway. <laughs> thank you for all your support. I am so excited for what the future holds and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. We're using a 20 ounce skinny mug from Craft Haven for this design. And this is one that I actually stripped and we're going to give it a brand new life with this new design. I'm using six different spray paints for this. Um, they're all from Montana Colors and they will all be listed in the description box. So we're just using basically a bunch of different tones of green. Um, we've got a fluorescent green, some emerald green, and we're just going to paint them starting at the bottom of the cup with the emerald green and working our way up to the fluorescent green. I accidentally started with the breeze green instead of the emerald green, so I covered the entire bottom and then realized that I had the wrong color, so I just went back in with the emerald green and covered the bottom of the cup and kind of worked our ombre up, and then I went back with the breeze green and brought that color up a little bit more so it wasn't all scrunched down at the bottom with those two colors. Once we had that bottom ombre all straightened out, I went to the top of the cup with my fluorescent green and just covered the top so I made sure that I had enough spacing in between all my colors and then I was putting enough of each color on my cup. I ended up putting my java green in between my emerald and my breeze green. It was originally supposed to go right below fluorescent green, but when I test sprayed it, it looked a little too dark, so I changed up the order. Um, they really blend together pretty well. You could probably do this with like maybe three or four colors. Once I had all my colors down, I just went over the bottom two a little bit just to make them a little more defined. Let the paint dry about 30 to 40 minutes and then applied about one to two milliliters of epoxy to my cup so that we can apply all of our glitters. We're using five different glitters, all from PDB. We're using Vortex, Menorca, Pretty Wicked, Grinch-ish, and Key Lime. The first color we're taking is Vortex. It's the bluest of the colors. So we're taking that down on that emerald green section and we're just covering the entire bottom. This does not have to be a perfect ombre. We're going to cover this with alcohol inks later, so don't worry if your blend isn't perfect. But the thing about all these colors and what inspired me to do this whole design actually is how well all of these glitters really blend together. So once I had Vortex down, I went with Menorca and just put it where we had that breeze green spray paint, blended those together. And then just like I did with the paint, I'm taking Key Lime next and going up to the top with fluorescent green. And wow, Key Lime on a fluorescent green base. Chef's kiss, perfect. <laughs> then I'm going in with Pretty Wicked, which is a pretty fine color. I'm taking that in the middle of the cup and starting to build the blend up the cup from Menorca and really just taking this all over, letting it get down into Vortex and really fill in any of those gaps. 
And then I'm taking our final color, which is Grinch-ish. This is a really fun green color too. And then taking that kind of up from the fluorescent green color down into where we had Pretty Wicked to blend those together and make sure any of the bald spots are covered. And then I'm going to grab Pretty Wicked again. This is a like mid-tone color. It's got the green and the blue in it. So I'm just going to take it and cover the entire cup to fill in any gaps we have. Tap off the excess really, really well. And then I'm going in with Candelabra, which is a really fine white, also from PDB. And I'm going to cover the entire cup with this just to kind of blend the colors together a little bit more, lighten them up a little bit, and just make everything a little more cohesive. I let the glitter dry about two hours, and then I went in with my first coat of epoxy. I'm using about 20 milliliters of KS Resins Fast Set. And once this coat cures about two to three hours, I'm going to do another coat of about 25 milliliters, and then we should be ready to do all of our sanding. So that second coat cured, I did all my sanding, and my cup is just about as smooth as I can get it. So we are ready to apply our little turtly turtles swimming in the ocean. I got these turtle silhouettes from Creative Fabrica. I will have the link below in the description box for you if you would like the same ones. And I just cut them out on my silhouette using this peacock blue vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft that is also linked in the description box. I used a vinyl that was kind of similar to the base colors that we've got going because the end goal is to make these turtles look like they're swimming underneath the surface. So once we add the alcohol links and everything, it'll make a little bit more sense and you'll kind of be able to see it a little more, but that's the goal. These turtles are swimming in the ocean. I'm placing these down kind of randomly. I do want them to look like they're swimming in all different directions, and I made sure to leave enough room for our quote and for the cute little watercolor turtle that is going to be swimming up on the top of the surface. Once we had those decals down, we were ready to go in with our next coat of epoxy and add all of our alcohol inks. I'm using nine different alcohol ink colors. These five came all in the same pack. I will have that linked in the description box below. And I'm putting a couple drops of each ink into a cup with about five-ish milliliters of a little extra epoxy and mixing those all together. And then I'm taking my leftover epoxy, which is about 25 milliliters, and I'm putting that on the cup so our alcohol inks have room to flow and that they move around a lot. So taking my darkest color and trying to keep that at the bottom, I'm just gonna start to string it onto my cup. This is literally the easiest part of this whole cup because you don't have to worry about making your lines clean. You don't have to apply precisely. You really don't have to worry about it. Just put your alcohol ink on the cup in these kind of stripey motions and it'll all turn out. We're gonna hit it with our heat gun, smooth everything out later. So whatever works for you. And if you only have a few alcohol ink colors, just use those. You do not have to go crazy with nine like I did because you really can't even tell. I could have used four and it probably would have looked the exact same. It also ended up being a lot of epoxy in one layer. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to use less inks, you're obviously going to use less epoxy. So once I had everything on there, I hit everything with my heat gun to disperse the color a little bit more. And then I went in with my glove finger and decided that I wanted to smooth out these stripes a little bit. I wanted them to blend together a little bit more than they were just naturally. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, take your cup off the turner and hold it you know, upside down and you know, hold it vertically so that those colors move up and down and not just horizontally. It's really difficult to get my cups off my turners and then put them back on when there's epoxy everywhere. So I just took my finger and smoothed it out that way, but either way will work. Once I was done, I left the cup alone, let it spin for about eight to 10 hours, and then I was ready to apply my decal. So the image that we're using is a sublimation image really, and I took the text from that image and just cut it out with my silhouette so I could make an offset and use this colored vinyl, and then we'll actually use the image image part of it once we've got this on there. So I cut this out and I wanted to go word by word so that this could kind of flow with the turtle, so go with the flow. I wanted to just have it go kind of vertically down the cup and just be kind of whimsical. So I'm applying the offset and then I'm just placing the decals with the backing onto the cup, kind of where I'm thinking they might go. I did end up rearranging them just a little bit, but it's always good to map things out because you might change your mind like I did. 
Once I had all my offsets applied and my words kind of mapped out, I went back and actually applied them to the cup. I moved the flow over so it kind of flowed around the cup versus just down this one side. I felt like that just created a little bit more movement within the cup and I ended up really liking how it turned out. So yeah, just going to apply these and then we'll be ready to apply our cute little turtle after we've got all these down. Now that we've got our wording down, we can apply this super cute little turtle image. He's so cute and happy, I just love him. I'm gonna put him right below our handle, just kind of going with the flow of the words. Haha, <laughs> get it? Go with the flow. He's just a cute little accent, a little turtle swimming up above the surface, and I just, oh, he's just so cute. I printed him out on printable vinyl and then I just cut it out by hand and then applied it like a normal sticker. No transfer tape when you use printable vinyl. Now that we've got all of our decals on, we're going to go in with our last coat of epoxy. I just did one final coat. I did 25 milliliters of a little extra epoxy and once it was cured, we were all done. This design is a little different than what I would normally do, but it was really fun to kind of step outside my box and try something different. So hopefully you enjoyed it and I hope this gives you some fun ideas for some summer cups while the season is in full swing. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey.